Kirby. Kirby is one of Nintendo's most recognizable characters. But like with Mario and of course the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie, was well, apparently that's going nowhere anyways. But if the Mario movie is successful, Nintendo can definitely make more movies based off the IPs. Which means there will probably be a Zelda one coming around the coming next. But I don't really play Zelda too much. But Kirby, I think, would be a pretty interesting series to give a movie release. Two. First of all, you'd have a character that doesn't really speak. King Didi, I think King Didi and Man Knight would have voices as well. Well. But yeah, Kirby doesn't really speak in any Kirby games. Games. And, yeah. I think that would be kind of the problem with a Kirby movie. Because Kirby movie would mostly be an animated movie. I don't really see them making a live action Kirby movie. The, maybe a live action animation movie. One of those types of movies. Well, Kirby's a CGI character like Sonic as well. But Kirby... Will, will kind of look like this, like the like how Sonic looks like in the Sonic movie, or something like that. That I think that there would he would probably be more animated, kind of like the Sonic movie, V, and of course the supposed Crash Bandicoot movie, V. Well, he would kind of look like his video game self, but he will still be in the real world. It would kind of be cursed, but yeah, I think if a Kirby movie would be made, it would be an animated movie, V as well, and I think. I think the best studio that would make a Kirby movie would probably be Illumination. As much as people like to hate the Minions movie, they did pretty well of a story of a character that don't really speak coherent sentences. So I think them making a Kirby movie would make a lot of sense because Kirby is not really known for speaking. I think most of the speaking roles, go, roles most of the lines of dialogue of course come from D.D. and of course Meta Knight. And... Basically, the, it, it, they can even follow the path that first of course put Man Knight in there as well. And Man Knight basically battles Kirby to test him for the final trial against King Didi. And Kirby, of course, has to fight King Didi at the end to give all the food back as well. And of course, Kirby is not really known for its much more complex plots unless you're playing certain Kirby games. But yeah, Kirby games are not really known for uh, you know very complex plots like Mario. But the thing is, Kirby has a lot of villains he can use in the Kirby movies. You have Mox, you have Dark Matter, you have Fecto Elfris, you have Void Terminal, and you have many more villains, such as the Squeaks and other, and of course Magor as well. Well, I think I think Kirby has enough villains that you really can have like 10 movies of Kirby and still have new villains coming around for the newer Kirby games as well. You'd also have Galactonite and of course Marvel Knight as well. Well, well, and of course you, and of course I think if they do not make Man Knight have a Spanish sounding voice, right again, of course Kirby right back at you, we're going to have big problems with that. So yeah, I think Kirby should definitely get a movie series if Mario movie is successful, which I am guaranteed think, thinking it will. Considering the fact that the Sonic movie basically made video game movies, basically an actual thing at the box office. There was also that Mortal Kombat movie that didn't really do too well due to the pandemic, but was still a pretty good movie. I think a Kirby movie series, or, and of course, another Pokemon series as well, actually revolving around Pokemon Battery, not just being a detective as well. So I think a Kirby series would work pretty well, and I think, uh, and I think definitely it should be animated. Did. I think it should be more in the style of games like Kirby in the Forgotten Land than in the actual games. And maybe we can work like, the, work like the Mario movie as well. Well, Kirby is not is a very simplistic game series. Even though Kirby has some complex war, like of course Dark Matter and stuff as well. I think Kirby in the first movie should still keep its kind of simplicity. And, really, and the first movie of course would really be introducing the world. And people who have never played a Kirby game to the world of Kirby... Meta Knight, King Didi, and all of the wonderful characters of the Kirby universe. First, like the first Sonic movie was really meant to introduce Sonic and Dr. Robotnik. Ick. And establish the rivalry in the movie. And the sequels, of course, are supposed to add more and more characters from the Sonic universe to it. Ick. And I think it's going to be the same thing for the Mario movie as well. The first movie will establish the rivalry and energy between the Mushroom Kingdom and, of course... Of course, the Bowser Kingdom. But I think, unlike the Mario movies, I think at the very end, Kirby 
will of course make friends with King Dedede, and King Dedede will not become evil and will start in a court until the sequel of Dark Matter takes over King Dedede and basically makes King Dedede evil again. Which I think Dark Matter could be the, definitely the second villain, or it could be Galactonite as well. Well, could appear in it as well. But again, Kirby has a lot of characters that could definitely be used in a movie. And yeah, I think it's a missed opportunity that there's still a lot of Kirby characters that could definitely be in Super Smash Bros. So there's Magawar, Galactonite, Morpho Knight, uh, Fecto Elfris could be added as a villain, as a character in Smash Bros. now. Heck, every character in Kirby style allies could have a moveset that is a partner character that could be used in Smash Bros. You have Mox, which is a boss in Smash Bros. but could easily have a Smash Bros. moveset. Probably using a moveset very similar to Kirby style allies as well. Well, well, and yep, that's basically about the Kirby movie. So what, so if a Kirby movie gets made, what do you expect from it? Do you expect it to be like the Sonic movie where Kirby just gets into the real world? Or I think the most likely thing we'll do is Nintendo and Illumination work together to make a animated Kirby movie. The Enkin to the Mario movie. Again, Mario and Kirby are not really all too known for the plots. And unless he plays some of the spin-off games, well, the plot is actually kind of important. Like, games like Super Paper Mario as well. Ha- Super Paper Mario still to this day has plots better than most modern day movies. So yep, that's based about this video here. Goodbye. And yeah, I think a Kirby movie is inevitable considering that Nintendo created their own studios. And also we can talk about what a Pokemon movie could look like, or even a Donkey Kong Country movie as well. And yeah, Donkey Kong Country movie, the main villain will always be King K. Wool. And Mario movie, you could actually create a whole new character and all new characters as well. I think that should be the thing for Pokemon movie. Or you can follow up with Zonia of Red if they really want to. If they really want to go that path. But yeah, I think that Nintendo, I think they have bigger plans of the movies. And I think, and, I, and I, tomorrow I'll try to discuss that as well. And yeah, this video will be released on Thursday. So yeah, that's me to this video here. Goodbye.